Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding the number of employees which each, which report to each employee and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called employees with four different columns. Employee ID, name, reports to and age. Employee ID being the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the employees and the ID of the manager they report to some employees do not report to anyone and therefore reports to is null okay for this problem problem we will consider a manager and employee who has at least one other employee reporting to them okay we are asked to write a sql query to report the ids and the names of all managers and what is a manager an employee who has at least one other employee reporting to them the number of employees who di report directly to them and the average age of the reports rounded to the nearest integer the result should be ordered by employee id okay let's go through this example right so here if you see uh, these are the different employees and where they report to right so for example uh, Hersey do not report to anyone Alice and Bob report to Hersey and Winston also do, do not report to anyone now the definition of a manager is at least one person should report to them right so for example Alice and Bob they report to Hersey right so Hersey is a manager Winston does not report to anyone but is it necessarily that Winston is also a manager? No, because in this employees table, you don't have any employee who, who reports directly to Winston. So the only person who is a manager in this case is employee ID 9, Hersey. And who, how many people report directly to them? Two, right? Alice and Bob. And what is the average age? So 41 plus 36 divided by two. It is 39, right? So that is going to be the output, right? Okay, so the first thing that we should do is from this employees table, we should find out all the managers, right? So managers basically is manager IDs, right? So the so nine is a manager ID, right? Based on our discussion. And then based on that, we can also find the number of employees who report to that manager and the average age, right? And we can store that in a common table expression. So let me just write, start developing this, this query. It will be more clear. So from this employees table, right where reports to is not null right where reports to is not null what we are doing is let's group by the reports to column right so reports to so for example nine nine will be one group right so and this nine how if we count the employee ids so basically there are going to be two employees who are reporting directly to that report id right nine so that is what we are trying to do so here we, we are grouping by reports to then if we return the report to right then count the employee id right and since uh, it is all already a primary key so we don't need to write distinct because primary key means non-null unique values right so count employee id and this is going to be basically number of reports right so reports count we can alias this as anything like it does not matter and then we also need the average age but rounded to the nearest integer right so how do we calculate the so firstly the average of age right and this should be rounded to the nearest integer so round this entire thing and if you just write comma zero this will round it to the nearest integer so basically the to zero decimal places and this should be the average age right the average age okay okay let me just run this to see like what we are trying to do here are we getting that or not obviously this is not complete so it will be a wrong answer but let's see what we are getting right so for example here you have reports to so right reports to id this is nine and how many people are reporting two and the average is 39 so if you see you have the this this and this part right so all you need is the name part right so all we can do is just store this in a common table expression so with ct as this entire thing goes into parenthesis and then from this common table expression let's alias this as c let's left join again on the employees table aliased as e on c dot reports to 
is equal to e dot employee id because these are the employee ids only right so that is why this equal equivalency is correct so reports to is equal to e dot employee id and then once you are joining you are only required to keep certain columns not all of them right so for example we need employee id right so we can write c dot reports to and alias this as employee id then we need the name name is going to be in the employees table so right we can write e dot name then we need the reports count and average age right so reports count and average is in this common table expression so we write c dot reports count and then c dot average age okay one thing that is left to do is we need to order this by employee id right so order by employee id okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was you know firstly find out the definition of the manager right and the definition of manager is here that at least one employee should be reporting directly to them so we found out the managers the average number of uh, average age of the uh, direct reports the number of direct reports right and then we since in the output we also need the name right so that is why we are joining is back to the employees table so that we can get the name as well and that is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video